Well, hello you all. Today, I decided to do something that I just felt just needed to be done. But don't worry. It's just that I wanted to help explain uh, better about um, some certain things that I think would be easier on some of you. Especially for those of you that might be currently struggling with this. What is it? They are the Federal Signal 2001 SRNs. So I'm gonna show I'm gonna help show you all in detail, and hopefully it'll help you all understand um, what we name them by and such like that. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'd like to point out is that um, some of you may have noticed that when I call some certain 2001 SRNs, I call them by version. Some of them, some of you sign enthusiasts may call it uh, generations, but um, I usually call it versions because in my point of view, I think it makes better sense to me. But of course you can call it, I guess you can call it whatever you want because it looks like we kind of make up our own rules in the siren community. So it's really unclear as to, you know, how it should really actually be called. But the way I see it, I prefer to call it as versions. So, here's how it goes. Version number one would be the roundbacks. Okay, um, this is, uh, of course you all know what the roundback looks like. Um, so, uh, that's what I call SRN version number one, which is the roundbacks. Or you could just say 2001 SRN roundback, or some still call it DC. And I know some of you have actually noticed now that the DC was just meaning at the name of the rotator box. I don't know why Federal Signal, once again, I don't know why Federal Signal didn't bother to label it saying SRN on the rotator box as they should have. Because when I tried asking that, the kind of answers they've been giving me were basically the same uh, answers that I already knew about and of course all of you would have already knew about either so Federal Signal um, the kind of answers I've been getting due to the fact that I asked a very specific question um, they're just lousy at being able to re reply back to what we question about so at least for me I've just had some poor experience with Federal Signal so I decided I'll just take over the idea then so anyways, version number one is the roundbacks. You all know that. Now, let's go to version number two. This is version number two, which we call squarebacks. Or some siren enthusiasts just simply call it 2001 DC. So that's, uh, that's what version two looks like. It's, you know, we call it the squarebacks or just, or, you know, again, some just call it DC. Um, people can call it whatever they want, I guess, um, but, but I should just let you know that, uh, despite the fact what's clearly labeled on the rotator box, again, you know, the model is still called SRN, okay? The thing that most art enthusiasts got confused with is that when they call the 2001 an SRN, they're usually going by version number four, which I'll show you in a minute, but first I want to just kind of going timeline wise as to how um, they were made um, throughout the years. So of course the roundbacks were introduced uh, sometime in 1988 or that's the earliest and they were made up to 1990 and uh, uh, sometime in 1990 um, they changed it to square back. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it was meant to be an enhancement of a design or if it was meant to make any difference as far as performance wise but in my point of view I don't think there is a difference so but uh that's you know that's 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 what I notice so um here's another thing I also want to point to on uh just give me one sec here Okay, I'll try to make this, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see on this one, but I want you to take a look at the air intakes, okay? That's what the air intake looks like on a 2001, 
but this is on the version number two. Okay, so take a look at that. You'll notice that they're rectangular shape, which is, um, you know, it's pretty typical, but here's the other thing. Um, and, you know, here's another view right here, like kind of on the side. But, uh, but um, the later versions of the SRNs, it seems like the, uh, the air intake uh, was widened a little bit, or the design was just only slightly changed, okay? They weren't exactly, like, um, um, they weren't completely radically designed, but it seems like uh, the later ones, which I'll show you in a minute, um, it seems like the, the later versions, um, they, uh, the, the air intake screen looked like they were widened slightly or just somehow looked slightly different, okay? You're not going to really tell because they kind of almost look identical, but I kid you not, versions 3 and 4 both look different than what versions 1 and 2 do because version 2, um, like I said, uh, the only difference, physical difference we all know is just the, the chopper housing is uh, changed from round back to square back. So, um, now as far as like horsepower wise, I don't think there is a horsepower wise that I know of that's been changed between version 1 and 2, but, uh, but, uh, next version, version number 3. <laughs> this is version number 3, what I like to call it anyways. Now this one also still also says on the rotator box, uh, Federal 2001 DC, just like versions 1 and 2, but, um, you know, but, but here's the thing, the big radical design, of course you all know, is that the motor cover is bigger, okay, and of course the screen, you know, instead of it being in the front of the horn, like versions 1 and 2 are, are version number 3, they put it in the back, closer to the, uh, um, where the chopper is than, than the front of the projector. But here's another thing I also want to show you. This is very, very important, okay? Um, this is the biggest physical difference I've ever... This is probably the biggest physical difference you'll tell, which would be the easiest, okay? you got to look at the motor cover, okay? Version number three, what I've noticed is that if you take a close look... Um, it's kind of hard to do it like this, but... If you take a close look, you'll notice that there's some screws on the motor cover, on the front of the motor cover, and it looks like there's a separate cap or something that it's screwed onto. Now, I'm not exactly sure why it's like that, but that's kind of a... This is how you, you tell if it's version number three, if it's got those four screws like that in. And at the same time, usually the rotator box would still have that federal... Uh, 2001 DC uh, label on it, of course. But above all that, it's still, you know, like I said, once again, it's still an SRN. But now, let's take a look at the, uh, uh, let's take a look at the intake on that one, on version number three. Just give me a minute here. Okay. All right, so, that's the air intake which is basically almost, uh, it kind of almost looks like the same as versions 1 and 2, but it seems like this is a little bit wider. I'm not sure about you guys, but it looks like it's slightly wider, or maybe it's just me. But another thing I also noticed is that there's no, um, there's like no bolts or something like over here that was shown on version number 2. Um... So, you know, that's kind of like what the air intake looks like on version number three, which is really, it shouldn't be any different than version number four, but here's another thing I also want to show you um, on version number three. Uh, if you take a look, uh, it doesn't seem like all version number threes have this, but uh, if you notice, there's like a uh, oops. <laughs> Sorry about that. Give me, give me a sec here. It's kind of hard to do it like this, but anyways, uh, versions number three, uh, there's like a gap, like right over here, like you can kind of see like where the where the where the horn ports 
that attaches to the projector, it appears like there's like a sort of like a grooved gap or something, like, you know, on version number three, but, you know, here's just a bit better way to tell, but uh, that's kind of, uh, you know... That's uh, that's that's also another way how you can tell if it's uh, version number three of an SRN, or you could say generation three, whatever you want to call it. But I prefer to call it versions because generation would be more like uh, uh, for me it just seems to make more sense. Like when you call it generation, um, Wheelands, like for example, like their analog controllers, like the first generations would be what. Well, what would be called the non-microprocessor decoders, okay? Those were completely different controllers than the second generation of analogs, which were the ESC-864s, which is the same kind I have. Um, the, they only had, like, just a few minor changes on that, but... Above all that, you know, that's I kind of I kind of consider that part as generation wise, um, which makes more sense to me. But on two thousand ones for the SRNs, um, they've only did like just a few minor changes, which was basically uh, um, some of it was like performance wise. And another thing, because the motor cover on the version number three is larger than versions one and two, it's most likely that it has a different motor, which supposedly is supposed to have higher horsepower okay a little bit just a little bit that's probably why versions three and four usually would be a little bit higher pitch than versions one and two but it depends it really depends on i think how much voltage it's it's used and how you know it's it's also how fast the chopper's spinning but usually because with the later versions of the SRNs because they have a higher horsepower motor than than the earlier versions um it it kind of makes a little bit more sense in that way so that's kind of why you see like the uh versions one and two uh most of them seem like they're a little bit lower pitched but one could be higher pitched than the other. It just basically depends. But usually the later versions would be more of them would be a little bit higher pitched. So that kind of makes more sense. But uh, let's see. I think that's it for version number three. Now let's go to version number four, the last of it. This is version number four. This is the one that Siren Enthusiasts always just call SRN because on version number four, it doesn't have the Federal 2001 DC label on the rotator box. So, you know, that's that's another thing, but let's take another, let's take a different look. Uh, give me a sec here. Here's another angle shot of a version four of an SRN. Um, you could tell that where the horn, where the where the uh, the little horns are connected to the projector, there doesn't seem to be as much of a gap, you know. And when I looked at of all the version four of the SRNs I saw on YouTube and even in person, they all looked very just much like this one, you know. And this this is uh, this one's in Livonia, and the version number two that I also showed you earlier is also in Livonia. Um, the version 3 is in Garden City, which I have filmed, and version 1, unfortunately, is not mine, because I have not yet, um, I have not yet filmed a round back 2001 in person yet, but, uh, let me show you another thing on version number 4, um, and I'll, I'll try to make another side-by-side -side comparison so you can see better with your own eyes, um, okay, so... Here's version number four. Take a look at the motor cover. You'll notice that it's more of a compact design, or basically it's more smooth, okay? It doesn't have the screws in it like version number three does, okay? But that's kind of what version four looks like, which is uh, uh, mainly smooth, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now, version number three... Uh, you can see it's more obvious, you know? Let me see if I can do a 
I don't think I could do side by side. It gets kind of hard to do it with my laptop right here. Um, but I'd like to try. Just give me a sec here, please. Kind of have to zoom in too so you can see a little bit better. Maybe this will work, but uh, this is version number three, and this is version number four. These are the best way to tell physical difference-wise, is if you look at mainly the motor cover, the motor cover is obviously different, okay? But above all that, they're basically, you know, oh, and I'll show you, uh, let me show you the, uh, Another thing that's pretty important too, it, it's the uh, the air intake. Um, let's give me a sec here. Uh, whoops, whoops. Okay. Now, I kind of had some different angle shots, but these were the best I could come up with. Um, this is uh, version number three, and this is version number four, okay? Now, um, basically, um, it seems like version number three is a little bit thinner, while version number four looks like it's as if it's wider, but it could also be the angle of the shot that I took this at, because this was like... This was like the best I could get this, uh, um, this was the best, um, uh, angle I could get for the, uh, the air intake on the version number four. And, uh, but you can kind of see, like, you know, difference-wise, you know, what I mean by that. It's, you know, basically the design is the same, but it seems like it's, uh, I don't know if it's true, but... And no, it's not longer either. They're they're basically supposed to be the same length. But uh, version four, it seems like to me version four might be like like half an inch wider. I I don't know if that's true. Maybe it's just my eyes. But it seems to me like version number four has a wider, a slightly wider um, uh, air intake than uh, version number three. If I'm it might be an enhancement design, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, there's something. Here's another side by side comparison I want to show you that's also a good thing. Um, so, once again, here's version number three, and here's version number four. Here's another good way you can tell between versions three and four. This is the one where Starting enthusiasts kind of get this mixed up or confused by, but this is basically the best way how you tell. And of course, you can also see if it has the federal 2001 DC label on the rotator box if you wanted to, but you got to try to ignore that because federal signal, um, I don't know why they did that. Federal signal just confuses me, but, uh, but above all that, uh, they're just about, uh, um, that's basically all I could say for the 2001s and the SRNs, because we all know that in 2002, um, the SRNs was replaced by, um, the SRNBs, and of course that, you know, was made up to about 2007, according to Federal Signal, because in 2007, that's when the 130s came out, um, and, you know, you, you all know the rest on that. But the SRNs, you know, some through the S keep saying, like, what's the difference between an SRN and then a DC or, you know, generation-wise? Well, I just I just thought I'd show it to you. That's how you tell. But like I said, you know, whether you want to call it generation or version or SRN or DC, I, you know, that's up to you guys. But I'm just going to call it SRN from now on because I'd rather go by the model, you know, not... Again, not the name of the controller. I don't, like I said, I don't know why they put DC on the rotator box, you know, but uh, instead of the model, that's what they should have done. But uh, but I just thought I'd help make that clear on you. I hope uh, 
you all found this uh, very uh, uh, a good way to tell the difference and uh, yeah that's all I can think of so I just want to thank you all for watching and have a wonderful time